Louisiana Beer Reviews live, well, <laughs> live at the time of the recording, recorded in Spain, La Linea, Spain, I'm trying to think of the full name, La Linea de Concepcion, La Linea de Concepcion, all right, Alhambra Especial, now I did the Alhambra, which was very nice, in fact, I have some left. I'm glad it's chilly in this room. There's no air conditioner. I'm glad it's kind of cold in here because um, the beer is not getting warmed up too fast. So there's the rest of the Alhambra. I'll say one thing. I heard all this noise down on the street, people going and talking and going here and there. I'm like, I'm going to look around, even though my feet are killing me. So I'm walking down all those avenues and cross streets. I'll say one thing about Spain is Spanish people, Spaniards, they love to eat expensive food at 10 o'clock at night. I mean, in the United States, people like to go out to eat. I'm not saying that, but usually they don't say at 9.45, y'all ready to go eat? Okay, so uh, packed, 10 o'clock at night, it's packed. Big meals, they're not eating like, you know, a, a little tapa, tapas, no, it's big, like, fried fish with green peppers stacked on top and huge portions and they got wine, 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 beer, beer, beer. And uh, this Cruz Campo is very popular. I see signs everywhere for this. So this is obviously one of the big ones around here. Uh, and uh, they dress real nice. They're not going out wearing a t-shirt and, and shorts or jeans. And um, it just it's just one place after another and there's an Irish bar you know O'Malley's or whatever and it's got people in there and then there's a taco place taqueria like Mexican themed and there's all kind of obviously Spanish themed so I mean it's just on and on and on maybe till the break of dawn um I mean yeah they have cheap food places like around the corner from where all these people were packed on street after street there was this uh like a kind of a Domino's pizza type place and I saw them in there they were in there preparing the pizzas I was watching to to, to deliver and you know they had a low price so um, obviously some people are at home just watching football and ordering a pizza but uh, yeah it's it was really fascinating because I said man these people are rivaling Gibraltar Gibraltar was more like a during the day thing like Saturday during the day people everywhere 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 more shopping though and then uh i noticed around four in the evening they start closing up all the shops even sooner than that i'm thinking mm, those cruise ships leaving or whatever so um but all the action seems to move now i'm sure gibraltar has a late night overnight nightlife just i didn't see it where i was but uh over here here we are after 10 o'clock, they all eating or, or, or still making an order. And I think this is going to go on. And I saw some, they were dancing, they were playing the music, they were starting to dance. I said, it's going to go on very late. I'm not one to eat a big meal at night. Like I couldn't eat this big platter, maybe at 11, 11 in the morning or 12 noon, but 10 at night. <laughs> But I didn't see the people real overweight everywhere, you know, like in the USA. Um, but they smoke a lot, so that probably cuts down, I don't know, maybe on their during the day appetite, and they just eat that one big meal at night. They're not just gorging themselves at uh, these um, chain buffets over here, <laughs> like over there, here, there in America. But uh, I don't know, but uh, they were just like into it and have everything decorated for Christmas over there in Gibraltar also and I think this is the same story every Saturday every Saturday night okay but back to the beer this um, Alhambra is good but I'm going to try this special Alhambra this is more like their uh, Michelob version <laughs> Michelob version of Al Alhambra Too big of a go. Now I can see by some at, some at around this time that some of the people are getting pretty lit. 
like I'm thinking, uh, I don't know if I want to be you tomorrow, but um, but the food looked awesome. I mean, I just was fascinated walking from place to place looking at this is incredible food. This is Alhambra Especial, Cerveza Singular de Fermentación Lenta. Uh, I don't know what that means. Ingredient is 5.4, so it's stronger. Getting close into the malt liquor area. Um, ingredients, uh, water, I'm gonna read the English translation here. Water, barley malt, maize, corn, hops, period. Imported by Morgan Rot Group, meant Imported by Morgan Rot Group, Manchester, United Kingdom. Best before the base of the can. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of time on that. Hmm. Bought this at a very common grocery store in uh, Gibraltar. And it said it was part of the Waitrose list, the stock list. So I guess they're associated with Waitrose, um, which apparently is a big British chain. Imported by Morgan Rot Group, Manchester, UK. So I'm thinking it's imported into the United Kingdom. And Gibraltar is a British overseas territory, uh, formerly known as a crown colony. So yeah, I think that's what they mean. They're making it in Spain, Granada, oh yeah, Granada, Spain, and they're importing it into England, or in this case, Gibraltar, which means they're importing it, like, across the street. Okay, exporting it across the street. So this would be the strong one, the nightcap. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, anyway. I don't know if they mean that they're, it's a special tea for Lent, Lenten season. And I, I don't know, but it could be, but it's kind of long in the tooth if that's the case, but they're saying it's best before 2025. Um, oh, look at this head, thick, 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 thick meringue, a little bit off-white, not pure white. Uh, yeah, a lot of sediment, fine white particulate matter. Fine sediment, it's not heavy. It's there. All right, aroma. <sighs> yeah, white bread crust. It's like all three are the same. Now this is the fourth, so it's the same. White bread crust, medium body, uh, the, the hops will be a little bit grassy, and um, it'll have a crisp finish. So they're, they're very mimic one to another, but uh, which since they're all good is a good thing. I think this one's going to be a little sweeter. You know, like the stronger lagers tend to be. All right, cheers, taste. Or taste, cheers. All right, we said it. I put it by the windowsill when I went walking because it's cool outside. I figured it would help it from warming up too much, and it did. So I was thinking this was the all malt specialty, but it contains maize, so it's. It is an adjunct. I don't under understand unless it's just a specialty extra strong, which at 5.4 it is extra strong. Um, crisp finish, same thing. Uh, would this be somewhat similar to Mickey's Fine Malt Liquor or um, Colt 45. Now they're coming in at 5.6. This is 5.4. I think it is similar in flavor and body and consistency. Um, just a little lower ABV, you can tell that. 5.6, you can see it, you, you can tell. 5.4 to 5.6, you can tell. Um, or I can tell. Um, 
This does not have the uh, bitterness units that those other three have. This will probably be more like around 10, maybe 12, maybe bitterness units. Might be higher, but you don't perceive because of the ABV, so it could neutralize that. Um, there is a little bit of that syrupiness that you get with the Colt 45 and the um, the Mickey's Fine Malt Liquor. You used to get it with uh, Magnum Premium Malt Liquor, which is no longer made. But it's not profound. It's not like, oh, it tastes like syrup. It, I'm not saying that. It doesn't taste like syrup. There's just that little, you notice it a little bit. It's just like... Now, if it gets up to 6%, then you'd be more like, well, what did I just experience? It, it, now, when they're up to 10, if they're not crafted right, it could be a, it could be a chore to drink, or, or if not a nightmare, you know. Some of those, they're just so poorly done, you know, like earthquake. I mean, yeah, you could drink 10 earthquakes. One can will be good, and the other 10 will be bad, but then you'll say, well, that's four different date codes. Yeah. But... You know, don't, don't, that stuff is, if you got to, if you got to drink beer like it's a roulette table, don't drink it. But these four are not. These four are great. They're delicious, enjoyable, no complaints. I love them. Uh, now, uh, the 5.4, it'll come down a little bit just because of the things I described. So I'm going to go with a. About an 89. Yeah, I think 89 would be fair. 8.9. And I'm sorry because that's supposed to be the specialty, but um, maybe what that means to them is different from us. But um, usually, I, usually I would think it would be more like a all, all malt, you know, more purified version, but um, that's not the case. But anyway, so yeah, um, it's been a treat to try them. And I checked the receipt. It was 272 for the four pack. Well, it was single, so I'm just. 272 after tax. I'm not complaining. <laughs> All right, so uh, first beer adventure on the trip. Will there be another? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to find. Just have to play it by ear. All right, thanks for watching. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go to Spain and take a brewery. <laughs> a brew. I can't say that word. Brewer. It is a hard word to say. Brewery tour. <laughs>